Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video I showed you how I usually shoot stop motion videos, but I haven't showed you how I actually created this color effect in Premiere. So in this video I'm going to show you different options how you can change color and I'm going to show you exactly how I edited this video. So welcome to today's tutorial. For anybody who doesn't know me yet, my name is Amni Zatska. I'm a photo and video artist and I create surreal, colorful images and videos. And I'm gonna show you now how I created this color effect in Premiere Pro. There are actually a lot of different options how you can change color in Premiere, but I basically only use two and I'm gonna show you the two I think are most effective. So let's stop chatting and jump into Premiere. So you can see now we are here in Premiere. I already imported the stop motion sequence and if you have any questions about image sequences or how to create stop motion videos, you can check out my last video as I explain it really much in detail there. But now we're going to see how we can actually create this color effect. So there are two options as I just mentioned. The first one is with the Lumetri color with HSL secondary. So I'm just gonna go on HSL secondary. I'm gonna go on the eyedropper tool and I'm selecting the color I want to change. And now you can see we can change things here. So basically I'm just clicking on color and gray and you can see now what it actually does. So you can expand the color range, which will change eventually if you change the color and you can make it smaller. So you can work really, really precisely here with the um, HSL secondary. That's why it's probably my favorite tool to change colors in um, Premiere Pro. And that's actually the way I changed this video as well, like the colors in this video. So basically you just have to um, select the right colors. You have to make sure that maybe the face is not selected. So if you want to deselect an area, you can also go on the um, eyedropper minus tool and just go on the area you want to have deselected. And if you want to have another area selected, you can go on the plus tool and just select it. Um, so I'm gonna do it again. So. Yeah, you can see. Now it's actually pr selected pretty good. And now I can go down here and change the color. And you can see it didn't change that precisely yet. So you, what you can do is go on the three um, circles here and do it more precisely. So you can change the shadows, midtones, and highlights separately. So I'm just gonna do that now. And you can also darken the midtones, highlights, and shadows if you just turn this one down and you can see the color is getting darker. So I think like this right now looks good. Maybe I just select these areas as well. So you can see that the uh, um, code is in a different color now, which is awesome. I'm quickly going to show you the second way how you can change colors and then I'm going to show you how you can make this effect that it's only on certain areas and it's moving. So the second way how you can change colors or the second way I really like to change colors is with effects. If you type in color, you can see there are different color effects and the good one, which I really love is change to color, not change color, but change to color. So there are two different ones. I'm just um, deselecting the um, Lumetri color, which we just did. So we have the blank stop motion video again. And you can see we have the change to color effect on the video now. But it doesn't do anything because we haven't selected the colors yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select with the eyedropper tool the color of my coat again. And then I'm selecting a blue tone I like. So I actually would like to have it as the garage. So I'm just selecting it and you can see it already did the whole job for us. So it's really awesome. I really, really love this effect and you can actually change the tolerance and make it a little higher. So it actually also selects maybe the code. So I'm maybe going on 30 and seeing, oh, that was too much. My face should not be selected. Okay, 20 is fine. Um, you can see the lips are selected, but we can eventually change that with the uh, mask. What I don't like is that you can't change the color tone much. So what I would recommend you if you want to use the change to color effect, which is a little simpler than the Lumetri color, I would still create another Lumetri color effect, um, select the color and 
select the code as I just showed you before. So let's just quickly do it. So, okay. And then I would probably just darken the tone a little bit. So I, I just like the code to be a little darker. But how can we get effect only on the frame how I did in this video? This is really simple actually, you just have to know how and I'm just demonstrating it on the Lumetri color like the first color change we did because we don't need two color changes. So I'm just deleting the change to color effect um, on this video and I'm now only in the first Lumetri color where I changed the blue tone. And the thing you can do is you can mask the Lumetri color or change to color or anything you actually put on the video. So uh, you can either use like the ellipse mask, the polygon mask, or you can just do it yourself with the path tool. And I'm gonna choose the path tool because it's changing a lot. And I'm just selecting that. So I actually just created a new mask um, for my video and I'm putting the mask on the frame. So like that. And now you can see only in the frame the code is blue, which is exactly what I wanted. But if you move it further in this direction or that direction, it doesn't move with the frame. That's where the second thing comes into play, which is the mask path. So you basically only have to go on this mask path tool, click on this little stopwatch icon. So now you can actually just move forward with the video and just um, change the path accordingly to um, the frame of the image and this way you can just animate it and it will um, change with the motion. You can see each time you change the path there's like this uh, one of these little points um, created um, which basically means that the path changes here. So I'm just quickly doing it. So now I've created a path for the whole video and that's how it looks like. So it's really, really crazy. So many little dots and it obviously is a bit of an effort to do it, but I think it's really worth it. So you can see how it looks like now. And if you like to, and I thought it looks a bit nicer, I also like copied the effect and I actually inverted it. So I created another adjustment layer and I actually put the same Lumetri color on the um, adjustment layer and it has exactly the same path, but I actually wanted to um, enhance the pink tone. So you can see the pink tones are much, much more saturated here. So what I did is I inserted the mask so it actually included everything but the thing inside of the frame. So that's a little trick. If you're working with um, paths and masks, you can just do that and enhance different areas with the same mask and the same path as well. So this is it. This is how you can create awesome color effects with Premiere Pro. And here's the final result one more time. So I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, I would be super happy if you could leave a comment in the comment section under this video. I'm always really excited to read all of your comments. And if you want to learn more about creating awesome creative videos and photos, you can subscribe to my channel as I'll post more of these videos here on my channel. So until next week, bye.